today I want to uh, share another recipe with you. Um, I made a big pot of uh, what I call hillbilly chili yesterday, and I've got a bunch left over today. And so the recipe I want to share with you today is uh, cornbread waffles in my cast iron waffle maker. And this will go on the plate, and then the chili is going to go on top of that with maybe some Fritos, kind of make it like it into a Frito pie, cornbread waffle kind of thing. So um, in my bowl, I've got my dry ingredients in here so far. And what those are is I have one and three-fourths cups of all-purpose flour, uh, one and a fourth cups of yellow cornmeal, just like you know, if you're going to make cornbread, that's what you would use, you know, if you make it from scratch. I got a tablespoon of baking powder, a teaspoon of sugar, a teaspoon of salt, and now I'm going to add my wet ingredients, which um, is going to take two cups of milk. So I'm going to put that in there. And it seems to be a fairly easy recipe. Just kind of dump everything in the bowl and then mix mix it together. Okay, and there's we've got two cups of milk. And let's see. It says three tablespoons of vegetable oil. Because you know when you're making waffles, you always have to put oil in there so they don't stick. So we'll do three of that. And then let's see, our last ingredient is uh, two eggs, two large eggs. Those in there. I would think too. You could even put some, uh, maybe some grated cheese or something in there too. That might be good. I haven't tried that yet, so. Get this all mixed up. And I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and once I get this mixed up, I'm going to get my waffle iron all heated up on the stove. And then I've got a cookie sheet uh, in the oven. And I'm going to turn my oven on so that way as I'm making the uh, waffles. When they're done, I can just pop them in the oven in the cookie sheet and then they'll stay warm for when we're, for when we're, uh, when we're ready to eat. Okay. So that looks good. This all stirred up real good. So um, I'm going to get the waffle iron all heated up and uh, when I'm ready to put this batter in the cast iron waffle maker, uh, okay, so I'll show you how it goes. Waffle iron, my little cast iron waffle iron that I like to use. It's all nice and hot. And uh, when I take my my uh, corn bread mix, and I'm just going to put that in there. And I found too with these uh, cast iron waffle makers, if you just kind of let them sit there for a little bit with the lid off, give it a little bit of time to bake on the bottom before you put the top on, they seem to work a, a little bit better. Hopefully I didn't get too much on there and have a mess when I put that lid on. Give it a go. And I'm going to have a mess. And then 
since I've had that other side cooking for a little bit, as soon as I get that lid on, lid on there, I like to flip it over. And uh, that way the other side doesn't burn. But uh, I'll show you what it looks like okay, when so it's I think, all done. <clears throat> I think the waffle's done, so I'm going to open it up. And uh, usually what I do is... Um, an electric waffle iron has the light that will come on um, to let you know when the waffle's done. And one of the things I've learned with these is you watch the steam. And once the steam goes away, um, usually that's a pretty good idea of when your waffle is done. And so that is uh, the cornbread waffle that we're going to have on us with our chili. And then the other little trick I've learned to keep these warm is you take a cookie sheet, just warm up your oven on a low setting, and uh, and then uh, you just pop these back in the oven as you continue to make them, and then that way they stay warm and crunchy and all that kind of stuff uh, as you're... Uh, getting all these made and getting all your other stuff ready for dinner so I'm gonna keep making these and then once we get one put together for dinner I'll show you what the this finish is my last like. uh, waffle that I've made out of that batter and uh, it'll make six uh, six good waffles for your jelly and see they're nice and uh, golden brown and the other thing too that uh, I thought I'd mention is that um, if you do decide to get a cast iron uh, waffle maker when you get it you're gonna have to season it because they uh, when they're shipped to you that they're unseasoned and so what that means is that you're gonna that comes with like a almost like a waxy type film that uh, comes on any cast iron, whether it's a, a Lodge product or this Rome Industries waffle iron. Um, and you have to wash it under some hot water, get all the waxy film off it, dry it really good, and then take some Crisco shortening, and you're going to just cover the whole thing in it and then you're going to put it in your oven they'll come with uh, directions uh, when you do buy one but uh, I like it and then the other thing in the RV too, we only have this little three burner stove so this size waffle iron works really great in the RV if any of you are uh, wanting to or considering uh, getting a waffle iron for in the RV um, but uh, this size here, it works really great. So um, next thing is uh, I'll show you what the uh, the chili and all that stuff looks like after we get it put on the uh So I got my waffles. Uh, waffles all done. I got my hillbilly chili on there. Um, I threw on a few Fritos, you know, because chili and Fritos go together. Frito pie. Uh, got on some cheddar cheese, onions, all of the sour cream, and a few more Fritos on top for a little bit of garnish. But, um, I think it looks pretty good. And, uh, we don't do comments on our, uh, YouTube page, but, uh, if any of you are interested, I can put the recipe up on our Hillbilly Hideout Facebook page if you're interested in the uh, cornbread waffles, um, you know, to go with your chili or whatever you choose to, to make out of them, but um, we're going to see how it is.